Here at Epic, one of the things that has happened to us in the last, I'd say, two years was um, things that we started building two years before that. So think about it, a four-year stretch. And it really came down to understanding how to you know, maximize relationships at a high level. So one of the things that we're going to talk about today, and it's so important to the growth that, that we've experienced here, is what is an ecosystem merger? What does it look like? What does it feel like? And within the space of this conversation, there's four different points. As I circle into the first point, which is, you know, basically how is the fastest and what is the fastest way to grow your business in a way where it accelerates that will completely blow your mind. All right, so so as we get into the first part of this, what is the fastest way to grow your company? Now, listen, I'm not saying this is the fastest way. I'm going to give you my story strategy and how we've done it. You know, we've gone from eight to um, hundred and se- to 30, then to 175 to eight or 900 appointments a month. And this month in February of 2022, we're looking at north of 1,500 to 2,000 appointments um, or opportunities, I should say. And what does that mean? How does that happen? How do you go from six to 25 advisors? Um, how do you go from eight to north of 1,500 appointments? And it's really going down to what we just talked about, which is an ecosystem merger. What we've learned is the ability to connect with other, let's call it circles of influence drivers, right? So so traditionally, if we were just to talk about the insurance space, one of the things that they teach us is, hey, it's important to connect with, uh, with an attorney or an accountant. And by the way, if you have great relationships with attorneys and accountants, and if there's a full understanding of that relationship and you're meeting with them, let's say on a weekly basis on how to really cultivate your joint message together, then that could be very good for, you know, there could be some insurance folks out there that have had success in that place or, or any other business. Let's take it away from, from insurance and think of, um, you know, if you're a lawyer, you want to be able to connect with um, chiros, right? Or neurosurgeons, because there's a synergy there. So, or if you're a sports agent, you know, you want to be able to connect with um, people in, if I was to talk about basketball, you know, AAU programs for kids that want to go into the NBA out of, out of high school. But obviously as a sports agent, you want to be able to connect to the, to the, to the decision makers at the college level that could drive their, their potential basketball players to you. So, so that's what like a fastest way to grow any kind of company relationship is high level communication between decision makers, but that communication has to have a system and a process to it. What does that system and process look like? You know, how is that measured? How is that monitored? And then how do you rinse and repeat in that space? It's important to understand who your partner is, what their what they bring to the table. And for us, you know, we connected with a, a major influencer that um, is a top 20 worldwide influencer who has roughly 4,000 single family homes as part of his value add when he connects with folks, but he also has a peak performance coaching strategy and he is constantly bringing more value to his community than other people in his space. And as a result of it, he's experienced massive acceleration. So for us that, you know, we do, uh, we're a one-stop shop financial planning wellness center for not only individuals, but business owners, corporate executives, so on and so forth. And as a result of it, everybody would love to hear about finances. And some people are scared to talk about it. Some people feel like they're not worthy. But when you connect with the right folks, whether it's an accountant, whether it's an estate attorney, or whether it's an influencer, what really begins to happen is you can accelerate your business. Now, remember, that's just the part to get uh, to the point where you could sit down and meet folks. Once you meet folks, well, that's another story. Now, you know, we live in the 21st century right now. Um, a lot of us have the 20th century brain or the mindset of the 20th century. And at the same time, we have brains that are 2 billion years old um, when it comes to fight or flight mentality, right? So, so there's a lot of antiquated models out there that a lot of folks are uncomfortable at breaking. And one of those models, I'm not knocking it, But networking, I assure you, is not the most efficient way to grow your business anymore. It may have been at one point in time, um, but for the folks that are still stuck in that cycle, 
and haven't been able to get out of that, it's going to be, uh, you know, kind of running against the wall over and over again, which is basically the definition of insanity, uh, doing the same thing over, looking for different results. And at some point, they're not going to be able to break through their own ceiling of complexity. So, you know, when we look at intentionality and congruency, ecosystem merging is not the same thing as networking, right? Ecosystem merging is more about connecting with other folks that are drivers of their community and you're shoulder to shoulder in an approach to add value to both of those communities. Networking is more a lot along the lines of professionals getting together for breakfast, not judging, and basically just kind of referring somebody back and forth, but there isn't a system, there isn't a measurement and there isn't a process and I'm speaking in general terms. I'm not talking to the network, networkers that are at the top of the food chain because they, I guarantee they have a system and a process. I'm talking about the scores of people that really don't understand how to do it. No different than in the insurance industry. If you look at um, the success rate of life insurance agents, 90 to 95% fail because the sales training model goes back to the 1950s, which is basically, hey, recruit a kid out of college, make sure they have a family legacy, and then have them um, invite all their mom and dad's friends and families to a dinner so they could sell them life insurance. That's it. That's pretty much what it looks like. And then then they'll tell them to go to networking events, uh, join a, a BMI group, and at the end of the day, try and find an accountant. And what they do when they find an accountant, they don't develop a very strong relationship it's very surface level, level, and because of that, there's no consistency. So it's important to understand that, um, at least in our opinion, based on our success, and we've gone from eight to over 1,500 new opportunities a month, I would put that up against anybody at this point. No paid for advertisement, by the way. And at the end of the day, I'm just sharing with you what's worked for us, and I would encourage you to continue to listen, because as we get into point number three, you know, we want to kind of talk about the mechanics and what that looks like. All right, so let's dig into it. How can an ecosystem merger really help explode your business? Now, when we look at an ecosystem merger, which I've kind of touched on throughout this video, and if I sound redundant, just stay with me because it's powerful. If I'm going to connect with an attorney, uh, one of my partners is Sean Callagy. Uh, he's the owner of Callagy Law Firm here in New Jersey. And what they specialize in is recovering revenues for uh, chiropractors and doctors. In other words, insurance companies don't want to pay the amount of money that these doctors are owed typically. So Sean has created a model and a methodology on how to consistently do it. So if I'm in the space of doing planning, it makes sense for me to want to sit down with doctors as well as attorneys, fair? So from that standpoint, if I'm going to connect with Sean Callagy, what does that look like? Well, does it look like, hey, Sean, can you give me a referral? No. Does it look like, hey, Sean, um, would it be okay if you and I did a dinner together where uh, I could bring some of my clients that that maybe need to um, look at proper, proper business planning documents, buy-sell agreements? Uh, what does their company look like? What does their exit strategy look like? Legally, how can you protect them while at the same time, He's going to bring forth some doctors um, that, that are looking for proper planning. You're looking for some non-qualified deferred comp strategies. And if we both do that and we both bring five people to a dinner where we both have a shared experience, where there's connective tissue and the messaging is lined up, it's going to, and if we did that on a monthly basis and we both brought five and five, which is, you know, basically we would both get 60 appointments a year if we did that 12 times, right? Once a month, 12 times. If we did that four times a month, then we would get 240 appointments. And remember, if the messaging is proper, I's are dotted, T's are crossed, him and I are merging our ecosystem shoulder to shoulder for the, for the betterment of these folks that not only need planning, but legal protection. Well, that's what an ecosystem merger looks like. And then if you both have teams, so if Sean has a team around his his message, and I have a team around my message, which is we both do, that's exactly how you could begin to grow and scale your business. So point number three, how can an ecosystem merger create those opportunities? I just laid it out for you. And if you took some notes, great. If you didn't, rewind it, listen to it. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Ask any questions. If you want us to do more on this, on this topic, we will. 
but this is an important message. This is one of the greatest ways to explode your business. Now, if you're beginning to really feel what I'm saying in your nervous system and it's beginning to make sense and I'm beginning to lay out like what the action steps in the map looks like, once you begin to do it and once you begin to have your first dinner, second dinner, third dinner, by the way, you don't want it. You don't necessarily have to do a dinner. You could do something different. You could do a Zoom call. You and the other professional can get on a Zoom call. As a matter of fact, if you go check out on Blinded, they have what is called the Real Raw. And what the Real Raw does is it allows, instead of folks that want to save money uh, for a dinner, number one, but number two, save time so they don't have to travel an hour each way to go to that dinner. And it's much easier to, to collect everybody to come together to a Zoom than it would be to a dinner. If you went and did, let's call it a Real Raw, you know, what would happen is you want to be able to say everything I just said previously when it comes to sharing your me message, connective tissue, so on and so forth. But at the end of the day, you now want to monitor and measure the progress of what this looks like. And whatever's working, double down on. And whatever's not working, definitely figure out why it's not working first. And if it's something that is, 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 completely like you're running against the wall, then you want to eliminate that. You want to starve that out, right? And once you begin to monitor and measure, it's important to be able to figure out how you could double and triple down if you want to scale your business. Now, I've said a lot in the video. I want to thank you so much for listening. Um, if you want to learn more about this, because these are much longer conversations, go ahead and click that link below. One of the team members here at Epic will get back in touch with you and take you through any of these conversations, be able to share with you our own success. And oh, by the way, if you have questions about anything pertaining to what it would look like from a business or individual planning perspective, feel free to have that conversation as well. And don't forget to go ahead, hit that like button and subscribe because every single day we're dropping new content and we're here to provide as much valuable education as we possibly can.